What is the future for Berkshire Hathaway when, presumably we can say confidently, when Warren Buffett leaves the company in some capacity? Alice, when is that going to be and what's going to happen? He will be chained up in leg irons and carried out. <laughs> he will not go willingly. And do you think that that's a near-term event? Is he, I mean, he's 79 and he's obviously in great shape. Is it going to be 99, 109? What's your impression having spent time with him? He says that he has 4,000 days left according to the actuarial tables. So there we go. I don't know, you know, but he won't go unless he's, you know, unless he has to go. He won't step down and retire. It'll be his health or something else. And so what do you think happens when he does leave? Well, he's got a successor uh, he does. planned. Uh, everybody thinks it's David Sokol who runs his utility company, Mid American Energy, and that's because he's floated this trial balloon. Uh, so, and I think it's probably the most thankless job on earth. And tough act to follow. Tough act to follow. So what do you think yeah. does happen? I mean, does Berkshire Hathaway become Paul McCartney and Wings? I mean, what is the... Uh, there is a significant risk of that. Uh, the two big challenges are capital management. Uh, you know, I think they'll pay a dividend, but there's still going to be cash flowing in. And the temptation to make a dumb acquisition or to buy back stock at the wrong time, you know, all the mistakes that companies make. And then the CEO's got to manage the managers. There's all these people there who are there because they love Warren, and they're going to leave. So you've got to put a whole new structure in place. That's going to be hard. And do you feel like it's over for Berkshire Hathaway anyway? I mean, this is a company that had just extraordinary returns in its early years when it was very small, they could be very nimble, a big bet would make a big difference. Now Warren himself has complained every year in the 10K that he needs an absolutely huge acquisition to ac actually make a difference and that it's going to start to look more like the economy and whole, as a whole. So is Berkshire a way to actually beat the market now or should you just buy an index fund? I think that Berkshire is probably going to do a little better than an index fund uh, for a couple reasons. I think that he has accounted for stuff very conservatively. So I think you've got some little bit of a tailwind from that. And I also think that the, the collection of businesses that he's got are a little bit better uh, in the sense that they don't have the blow up risk that's inherent in you know they, the, the indexes. And so you'll just sort of chug along. I don't think it's going to be a barn burner, but I think it's safe and it'll do decently. You're not worried about this option position that everybody was freaking out no. about? last year? No, I think it's going to be fine. Great. Thanks, Alice. Thanks, Henry.